Hello everyone, Lavender Mama, back here again in Timberborn. And since the last episode, I did let the bad tide run through. I'm sorry, the drought run through. So um, we are on cycle four, day one. And we did have our beavers do a bit of work while during that drought. So we got some warehouses set up. They started building these dams. They did get these ones down here completed. So we were good there before that last one. Um, and they built the remaining water that we needed. Now I did have this beaver that is injured and I plunked down a bunch of things thinking that they were the medical beds but I had a lovely commenter Bud, Bud Williams he commented a few really nice things one being that I unlocked the wrong thing so we're going to go ahead and delete a couple of those we'll get those resources back and we'll put down the correct thing this time go okay so that's one thing and then another thing bud mentioned was that if i put down um floodgates here and here that would tie all of these together so i'm going to do that as well and i don't ever have to build those but they will actually let's put them on this side and then they never can build them um because they can't reach those, they won't be able to build them. So it won't matter that they don't actually get built, but now they will tie all of our floodgates together to the same settings um, because they're synchronized with the adjacent floodgates. So that's another good thing. And then he's worried about my crops and my berries um, when the first bad tide comes through. And he's saying I should find something to do up further. I will. I will, bud. <laughs> I will. Um, I have a plan to kind of reroute my bad water back around the sources. So I will build a dam here and then dynamite out all of this and make it just like reverse itself so that it can't come towards our thing. But that requires dynamite, and that's, or explosives, I'm sorry, they're called in here. Um, that requires explosives, and we don't have explosives quite yet, but we're pushing hard towards that. So as soon as we have some explosives, then I will change our bad water um, diversion system to something over here. Okay? So, that's going to be a bit before we can get there, though, and I know that my trees and my crops will die out. That's why I've been pushing to store a lot. And in this episode, we're going to store a bunch more because I think we're getting very close to that first bad tide. And it is going to kill everything back eight blocks or so from this edge. It also means we won't have water for any of our crops here. So that's another thing. Now we did get in a few more warehouses here. But now that our potatoes are in, I want to get those started today. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to put ourselves on double speed. And we're going to get going on some of this stuff here. Um, we should have water coming back any second here now. Because uh, it's basically I ran through the drought cycle and paused as soon as it went to the start of the new wet season we're gonna pump up this because that little beaver there like how did he get oh he got over there from here but it seemed like he just went through right there that's very weird um okay so we need to get in a grill and storage for potatoes now i'm thinking what i want to do is get that back up in here because that bad tide diversion will hold um, water back in here and make it easy to 
keep this hydrated. So we're gonna set up a little bit of a tree farmer over here so we don't lose access to our wood because all of this wood is gonna die when we get to that tide. We also need some more beavers. So we're gonna have to build some more housing. Um, we need the beavers so that we can make sure we're getting everything done in between cycles. Oh no, he's building that? They Are they trying to build that? Oh no, they're building these ones. I'm like, I saw them in the water and I'm like, where are you going, beaver? Um, we also are still on 18 hours of working. We're going to drop them down a little bit um, and let them sleep a little bit more. That'll make them happier and it'll make it so that they, they don't um, get exhausted. I'm also going to do that with those ones. That'll save us some resources if we don't let them build those two. But they're tying that together as well. So, let's see here. We've got planks on the go. We've got gears doesn't have anyone in it. We can pause this guy. They did build this second set of water wheels while during the drought. And they started on these ones and I paused those because we don't really need them yet because we have no buildings down here to connect them all in and I don't want to do a, a power thing like that. All right, so we have one baby beaver and one empty bed. So hopefully they will um, fill that empty bed for us and get us another beaver. And look at the little baby beaver. He was having a little playtime at the campfire. All right. So we need to build some more warehouses. We need to get in a um ba -dum -bum -bum. what am I trying to say here? A grill. A grill. That's what we're trying to get in here. Um so I'm thinking we might put a grill on top of the warehouses and if I Put several warehouses like that, then we would be able to stick our grill hmm how do we want to do this? Do we want to because I think I want a couple of them Maybe we put some platforms. Along here. Maybe we have, no, we won't be able to get up then. Um, okay. I wish we had ladders already. That would make life easier. Oh, I could do a platform here and then stairs here. But that makes this space unusable. I think we'll do it over here. And then we'll make that come down. You know what? We might actually extend this path here. while we're doing this, the beavers are just working on getting the water stores back up. We need to get somebody in to chop wood though because it looks like we've run out of wood. So let's get our lumberjack and our forester back. And I need someone to fill this so we're going to have to take from someplace else. We still need to have two pumps running too. Um, which I think for right now is okay because our big tank is mostly full and now they'll be filling the little ones we have back here. So I think that'll be all right. But we need to get this stuff in. So let's prioritize this warehouse. 
let's use the priority tool here these platforms here and that and then we can get a grill up here and we're gonna tell that we want grilled potatoes and we're gonna get that on next priority nope i didn't want i need all of that just make it all high whatever nothing to do in range who are you and what are you doing well go chop some wood because we do need that where did that beaver go it says we have three open jobs i'm gonna go ahead and pause those because I'm, as of right now those guys are doing okay for us we only have two in the farmhouse. We have three in there. Um, I cannot, we need more. We need wood more. I'm having a hard talking mor morning today, I guess. <laughs> All right, let's see here. What else we got going on? Oh, they got these in for us. Good. All right, and you know what? I'm just gonna get rid of this guy over here. Don't really need him at the moment. It looks like they've collected all of the potatoes. All right, and this is going to be regular potatoes. Because each regular potato will cook up into, I want to say it's either three or four potatoes. So you're better to store the raw potatoes than to store the cooked ones. And I believe that the grill holds 120 potatoes cooked. So you might as well store the... Um, Oh, you went to that lumberjack flag. Um, you might as well store the raw potatoes and have more, more food stored. Because as long as you have logs, you can always make more potatoes. Oh, we forgot to put a path underneath of our... There you go. I'm going to take this one out until I decide. I really would like a ladder here. That would allow them to get up onto this catwalk and still get to the stairs. So, next thing we need to do is figure out a little bit more housing. And I'm almost wondering if we don't come up here, clear some space, and put some housing up here. We can make like a little tower housing. And it would kind of be farther away from our green space. I would like to, if we can, possibly dynamite in a trench that would run along here. And then that would allow us to keep water flowing through this area or into here so even during drought periods it would be really wet back into here but that's a, a far off thing come on actually this one could be a little bit lower priority we don't really need those ones quite as urgently as we need the stairs and the grill we also should be starting to think about some haulers i know you don't have a door yet they didn't build the stairs do we not have any planks is that our problem okay we have 18 gears i'm gonna pause the gear guy for a minute and move them to the planks we'll be running double plank uh, manufacturing right now and see if we can't get caught up a little bit there And then I want to get another 
um, what do you call him? Forrester. Forrester up here in the top to see if we can't fill out this tree and berry area up here. So I'm going to actually do the unthinkable, have them cut all of these trees down that they can. And we're also going to unfortunately pluck all these berries because I don't really want them. We have a full storehouse of them right now and I'll make a little plot of them back here. So if it comes to it and we need to make um, medicine, we can get that in here. So I'll plunk in a little patch of, of berries and um, dandelions so that we can make antidote later. Oh, and I accidentally, I want you to cut these trees, not destroy them. All right, what's, oh, that's a little pine sapling. You know what, we're gonna pull him out and put some more potatoes in there if we can. Yeah, we can get potatoes to there. Because potatoes are a bit of a better food source than carrots are. Can we get the stairs made, please? Alright, so yeah, grilled potatoes can store 120 within the grill. So I always tend to leave them in the grill and then store the actual potatoes. And since we have a couple of extra warehouses here, we're going to make this one on the end carrots. And this one's going to be regular potatoes. And then closer to my housing, when I have my little housing complex, I always put in small warehouses that will have the all of the cooked variations of things all of the edible things and then they um wait where are you going no 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 i don't want you to build those i didn't realize they could build through the the crack like that that's amazing beavers are amazing um okay we'll just pause them don't waste our logs on that. We almost need to get a hauling post in. It seems a little early for it, but it would mean that we could prioritize things. All right, so let's get a, a forester up here. And do we have the money for a tapper shack? We do. So we're going to put one of those in up here as well. And that will give us access to um, some different things. We'll be able to gather pine resin, maple syrup um, for future things. I always find it's easier to put things in early. And like I can plant maple trees and pine trees up here now and yeah we can cut them if we need them but they mostly the tapper can come and fill up on that and then when we really need that resource it's just sitting there waiting for us <clears throat> sorry my voice is a little bit rough this morning my allergies are being brutal today um <clears throat> And for some reason, my mute mic button is not working today. So, anyways, carrying on. <laughs> Let's see what we got going on here. So, in order to get to here, I would like to do a couple of bridges. And that looks to be... Let's lose a... If I can see this. One, two, three, four... So if we got the single, I mean the double, we could do here and here. And we'll put those low priority because that's heading towards our bad tide 
diversion area. We'll need to like chop the trees and stuff like that in order to be able to get in here and do stuff. So that will make life easier. It also will let us get over here to these oats a little bit easier. But we'll see when time comes. Oh, I am so smart today. I forgot to put that path as well. Okay, so now it's connected. Um, I would like to get another house in. If I do a... That's two. Oh, we don't have any more. Any more money. I don't really want to put one there, though. <clears throat> I'll just go ahead and put it right there for right now. Um... Yeah. Okay. So next up, they've got almost all of those trees taken care of over here. And he has nothing to do for the moment. So we're just going to pause him, send him off to do something else. We are going to do that. Although I don't want all those stumps. I just want the trees. I tried using that mod. There's a mod that you can get that um, will say no more stumps, but for some odd reason it just worked really badly and kept crashing my game. So I took it out. So that one's not in here anymore. Do I still have stuff in these? No. So we're gonna go ahead and get rid of these. Um, nothing there. Nothing there. Okay, we're going to move and put back here a new one of those, and a new one of those, and we're going to, oh, cool, they're already working on that. I was going to say pump up that priority. I'm also going to make this one's priority higher, because now that we have it, they're going to want to eat the potatoes. If we need to, eventually we're going to have chestnuts, which I'll probably plant some chestnuts up here as well. Um, chestnuts and um, spatterdock. I think this down here might turn into some spatterdock. Um, so we'll need grills for all of those. And those can fit up here as well. We're going to put those super low priority because I don't really care if they work on those. They can work on those as they come to them. And then I'm going to pump up the priority on that one. All right, so priority wise, what do we got right now? Just that one house and the forester. Logs are starting to pick back up. This one is about half full. And we're looking good. We've got more, a few more trees over here to chop, and then that'll be it for those. I'm going to go ahead and take out this one here, because we no longer need it. I'm going to leave this right here. Oh, we don't really need that either. I'm going to take it out all together. Then if our bad tide pops up on us, the beavers aren't running down there for some reason. No, no, no. I don't want the floodgate. I just want the path. Okay. All right. So let's see. What's next? Our tapper shack is done. All right, so let's get some stuff planted here. We're a little bit out of sorts because of the... Because they haven't gotten rid of this stuff yet. But we're going to do that. And then we're also going to put in a little bit of dandelions. You know what I'm going to knock the priority up on all of this stuff and try and get it out of here. These blueberries keep popping up babies and they're going to end up all over the place if I don't get a handle on it. Alright, so he's in. 
and then I'm gonna put in how far does that guy go to there so we can get a tree back to there I'm gonna remove the cut area from up here for right now and get rid of some of this stuff that was still cut from when we started. I don't know if it causes a problem, gives you lag or anything like that, but it seems to do okay, even though it's on. All right, so let's get in those chestnut trees and then that'll give us another food source to make the beavers happy. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And I already planted a blueberry there. That wasn't so smart. And I think we can fit another, another one in there. And we'll make them unplant that the next time they're planting. That one, that blueberry might not work. Um, okay, and then we had chestnuts. Now, if you were doing this in a little bit different way, you could put in your forester, plant all this stuff, take it out, and then put in the tapper shack. But I um, use this as backup wood if need be. So I always leave my forester so that if I need to, I can go back and replant. He's running his little butt off. It's so cute. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pull out this section of path. I don't really need it. And it's encroaching on my green space. And then we're going to plant some pine. Okay. And then we'll also plant some maple. And like I said, all of these can be cut. So I'll wait until Tapper Shack is full up on um, both pine resin and maple syrup. And then I'll mark these to cut because we won't need more maple syrup for a while. We won't get some maple pastries um, for quite a bit. But we'll leave him to go. Let's those last little green beds. I want to get those in. Um, I'll put a couple of pines there. And a couple of maples here. And we'll let him work. And then when he's done, we'll kick him out to go do something else. Now that house was built. We've already had one beaver baby born from that. We're almost out of wood over here, but we have more that's like incoming very soon. They're in the 80s. Okay. So we're doing pretty good here. Let's get this one prioritized to get it out of there so that we can get another potato in there. He's taking a long time just to get rid of that one little tree. Alright. <laughs> and I hate to do it, but they're not harvesting all of these carrots. And I want to fix my path. So let's do that. And then we're also going to do that. And I think that. Honestly, if we take out all of this, we could put in more potatoes. So I think we might do that. We'll do that. Okay. And let's give that a little bit higher priority. So that that gets done quickly. Then we'll be able to fix our paths and put in some more crops here. Uh, I would like to get, what else have we got here? We can start gathering wheat, but we don't have the power infrastructure needed to really get 
week going? Oh, good. It's a drought, not a bad tide. Or a lot. We really kind of do need to get the haulers up and running, though, because what's happening is the pumpers are stopping to run the water all the way up to here. So I think we probably need to do that sooner rather than later. Nope, not the floodgate. There we go. Pads are better. I still have wonkiness over here, but it's going to have to live. All right. I'm also thinking we might add in a few more of the oaks over here. But first, we're going to throw down a couple more large barrels or medium barrels over here. I would like to get rid of these two and put in another medium barrel there. That'll keep our water storage closer to our pumpers and make life a lot easier. Let's mark them all for water right away because otherwise I will forget. And uh, we'll leave them priority wise. I kind of plunked them which way I wanted first. So, those ones are marked all the way down. This guy is almost full of potatoes already. So, good deal. Alright. And then I think we're going to put in... Holler costs us a little bit in planks. We still have a little few beavers for it, though. So, I'm kind of not wanting to... I wish we had some impermeable. There's so much new fun stuff. Um, we have the contamination barrier. If we could do that here, that would let us get some more of the green stuff over here. Um, we probably should put in some floodgates over here as well. That would give us the ability to hold the water a little bit higher since we could set up to be like 1.9 or I'm sorry 0.9 because those are sing would be singles um, another thing we could conceivably do is move everything up a layer build this up block this off up higher use doubles and levies and then fill this whole entire layer with water. That would mean moving all of our farms up though. And that would mean that we would have to like move everything this way. All of this stuff would have to go up. And then this would have to become our farmland. But that's going to have to wait until after we get something done up here. Otherwise we'll just kill everything off even worse than what we've got now. All right, so is our carrot storage full again? No, we have plenty of room for carrots. They just don't seem to be harvesting the oh, they're full. And so that means that someone needs to run them to the storage. That's the problem. All right, I think we're gonna have to put in another house and do a few more beavers. All right, so if we've got 17 beds, we'll end up with 20. 20, 40, 60. We need 60 water a day per beaver, or for all of our beavers, for 20 beavers. Um, so with our current storage, 
of 540. Let's see here, where's my calculator? I don't know, that's not what I wanted. We can go nine days with our current water storage with another 369, 100 gallons. That puts us at 1440. We could go 24 days. That's more than we need at this point. So I think we're good water storage wise with 24 beavers. I don't think we'll also sap our storage cast capabilities for food. Um, but I would like to pump up the potatoes. So let's get some more potatoes in here. And I know this is weird, but I kind of want that to join up. I don't know if the beavers will actually use it, but there we go. Um, I also want to get us a little bit more in the sunflower front. We actually don't, we aren't even storing sunflowers. That's how few of them we get. So let's um, expand the sunflowers. A little bit. Oh, I also wanted to pull that out, didn't I? They are just not picking those guys up, though. No recipe. Oh, they actually built those. Okay. We're just going to pause you. And because they seem to be running on doing whatever they can, we'll pause that, too. We don't need anyone in here. This guy is almost done. So we can pause him. And that loud noise means our drought started. We don't need that right now. We'll let this guy... Because those are at like 50%. We'll let him... Get those started. Oh, they stopped planting the potatoes. For the sunflowers. Because these are farther away than the sunflowers are. Okay, how are we doing wood-wise here? Not super great. We've got some of these that are coming up soon, though. Okay. Alrighty, let's see if we can't get ourselves towards the bridge. We have one beaver doing nothing. So I think we might put in a lumberjack flag up here and have him start cutting down all of this lumber up here because it's all good wood. How far for it can he get? Only to there. Yeah, we'll have him cut in. Um, now over here is a bad water source. So we could put in a bad water pump over here to pump that for us. We also have on the top of the hill behind our industrial district another well, over here, way over here another bad water source here. We are going to need some metal fairly soon too to get going on things. And we've got a couple of options there. We can try and get to this stuff here we can try and get to this stuff here or we could head up the hill and go to this stuff over by the bad water source or there's a little bit over here this would be the easiest for us at this point but we don't really need it quite yet although if we want I would like to go to the bigger water pumping tanks and that requires treated planks. So what do we need for treated planks? We need the pine sap, pine resin, um, and a lot of gears. 40 gears? What do we got for gears right now? Nothing. 
Oh, I think they put them into these tanks, that's why. And it's paused. So we'll unpause that. Uh, we have three kits coming up. We also have three empty beds, so they got that next house bed built. All right, so he's gonna gather those up. And then we can pause him and send him off on his way once these have all kind of done his thing. Oh, hi. Uh, he's got like 11. And you are done, so we'll pause you and send you off to do something else. Potatoes are almost full. That's good. Um, what's our... We have no potatoes stored, though. Which, that's alright. We've got potatoes incoming. We really need to get another... Um, farmer in. Maybe we do that down here so that the ones over here are actually getting dealt with. Which is more beavers. We need more beavers. All the beavers. We need all the beavers. Alright, we don't need storage on right now. Okay. How are we doing water-wise? We're at 380. We only have two more days. So we're good. Real, real good. Real good. And our trees are still incoming. Nice. I feel pretty settled here. Alright. So. What is our next steps? We need to head towards the treated planks. Which means we need more gears, more planks, and oops, we didn't turn on our little guy down here. We're going to go ahead and pause that, and we're going to pause that, and we're going to use the tide to catch up on planks a little. We can only get 52 power out of Yera, so we'll just do the one lumber mill for planks and let them try and fill that up for us. But I think... Someone has two. We have four beavers, so let's see. Can we see... 82. The uh, Vinda is 82%. So they will be the next one. I'm going to point that down to just two beavers in there. I love the new animations that show... The buildings as they're going up it used to just be that you would be this until it was built and then boom it would pop into existence and now the new animations are that you can see them working on the building I think that's really cool a really nice addition all right we've got a lot of things in the build uh, world right now let's fix this and then we can plant a few more potatoes no more wonky pad there we go okay i'm happy with that Alrighty. okay so like i said next step is to get the this guy in also requires 800 science we only have 220 right now so that's a bit of stuff we need to deal with we also should probably work on getting our well-being up right now we've got three four food sources for them we also will have uh grilled chestnuts as soon as these trees progress and we won't ever have a ton of them because we don't have a ton of trees but it's enough that it'll it at least kind of meet that next food barrier. Okay, what else have we got? We don't have any rooftop terraces yet. That would be a good thing to get in here. We do have contemplation spot, which we should sprinkle a few more of those around. Um, then we move into the aesthetics. We've got some shrubs, lanterns. 
roofs. Those are all ways that we can extend our happiness of beavers. So let's try. We have a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and buy the lanterns. I'm going to buy the shrubs. Mm, should I? That's 500. We can't afford that. All right. So if we put shrubs and lanterns in areas where the beavers pass all the time, that'll help our aesthetic, our happiness quotient. I think the lanterns are so cute. Um, let's see, where else? Oh, we also need to set in some stairs and a path over to this bridge. So that they will attempt to start that. And then next up over here is going to be to start shopping some of this because this is all basically free wood. Um, we'll go ahead and we'll put in a flag here, a lumberjack flag. And mark all of this. Ooh, we just gained a happiness point. Let's see what got it. The shrub. 18 of our 19 beavers have walked past that shrub shrub and made themselves happier i find that hilarious really um okay let's see oh we can get rid of the cut radius here and here and here and now our growth has ended the beginning of cycle five. And I'm gonna go ahead and once again pause these. As soon as we get these big tanks up, we'll open up some of the, the other pumpers, fill all of those, and then we can prioritize them back down. And we can pause this. We can unpause this. And I'm going to leave those two, I'm going to leave those two running for a little bit. We really need to get our plank situation handled. And we can pull out the cut area over here. Actually, we could plant a few more trees over here. So let's throw some oaks in there. And then let's put the cut radius back on. <laughs> Otherwise, we won't uh, get them cut. Water is slowly coming back here. starting to fill up again. Now, I was thinking we could put in a set of floodgates here. And then that meant we could throw another water pump in over here. And that would suction this off so we could suck this dry if it got to be too much. But that would be a later plan. But by kind of like putting locks in you can keep from completely draining your whole entire area and kind of keep a watch on it so that you don't dry out your stuff with every little drought. All right. We have five kits. Oof. So we've got 21 beds total. Oh, they're working on this lamp post. They're working on this one too. They need plants. Of course, everything needs planks. Um, I'm also thinking we kind of need some wood storage over here for these 
guys since the wood is so far away. So we'll see, maybe we'll put in a pit. What else could we do? Are you done, dude? You are done. All right, so we'll pause that. They'll pull all that out and then they can have some fun there. I'm almost thinking we could stare up to that right there pretty easily right here along this edge. And if we did that, and then we'll need some paths in between there, otherwise. We also have a whole bunch of wood up here as well that we can get to. This would be a really cute area to plant some more houses. Make a little, like, village up here. It'd be super cute. Could theoretically become a second district to housing here. We could put in some fluid dumps up here. Maybe make uh, some farms around here. That would be a cute idea as well. Hmm. I'm more of the cutesy build lots of districts that all like specialize in one thing. So like maybe this district specializes in metal and we have them be metal workers. And so they have power to make metal blocks and that sort of thing. And then this down here is our farming district and they deal with getting all the food and the that sort of thing. And then maybe we have a bad water and explosives district up here who also like can work in metal so there's lots of different things you can do and i'm not one of the mega builder people i haven't quite gotten to that point yet i imagine at some point i will but all right so we have accomplished quite a lot today um, we have our food a little bit more secure with the potatoes, the potato, potato patches, and the um, up-and-coming maple and chestnuts. We have added to our beaver colony by quite a bit, and we have also increased our well-being. We got lanterns up now. And that has increased it a little bit as well. So I think that is where we are going to leave it for today. But look at our cute little village of beavers. I love it. I love it. I love it. It looks so good. So thank you for watching. Oh, we just got some more well-being. But thank you for watching. And I hope you have enjoyed this. Oh, look, our little beaver's taking their showers. That's beaver baby. Um, I hope you have enjoyed this today. And I hope to see you on the next one. Please go down in the comments and let me know what you thought about my gameplay today. And if there's something you think I should have done differently, I could have done better, or I should change. All right? Always willing to take some advice on how to play this game better. Just let me know down there in the comments. And I hope to see you next time. Bye.